welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reading you the book, Have You Thanked an Inventor Today? In this book, the author is going to tell us about different African American inventors and the machines they created that are still used by people all over the world today. An inventor is a person who invents things, and an invention is a machine that makes our lives easier, or it could just be for fun. I hope that you enjoy hearing the story, and I hope that you learn a lot. Have You Thanked an Inventor Today? Written by Patrice McLaurin. Illustrated by Diane Wang. This world is full of inventions. Some of them we don't even think about. But if we took the time to think about them, we'd realize we wouldn't want to live without them. You see, inventions, they make our lives much easier and they also make our lives more fun. So we should thank the inventors who invent great inventions for without them, we might not get anything done. Like, for instance, when your mom wakes you up in the morning to let you know that it's time to go to school. You stretch and yawn, rub the corners of your eyes, and probably wipe away last night's drool. That's when you happen to glance over at your clock and realize that you're running a bit late. Well, you wouldn't know that were it not for Benjamin Banneker. He invented the first clock in the United States. So you put on clothes and you rush into the bathroom. You wash your face and brush your teeth, then brush your hair. Well, you should thank Lita Newman for part of your morning grooming, as the modern day hairbrush was her awesome idea. Afterwards, you're called into the kitchen for breakfast. This morning, it's cereal with fruit and wheat toast. Well, thank goodness, John Standard improved the refrigerator because hot milk with your cereal is pretty gross. And when you're on your way to school, whether you're a bus rider, a car rider, or you walk, you have to thank Garrett Morgan for the traffic light. Otherwise, none of our streets would be safe to cross. Then, after you've settled into your classroom and you've taken out your supplies, because you're such a scholar, Please remember to show love to Mr. John Love, for his invention was none other than the pencil sharpener. Now, as much as I know that you love to learn, you'll admit that sometimes lunch is your favorite time of day. Well, you can thank John Robinson for your lunchbox. But for what's inside it, it's your mom that you need to thank. And what does mom usually pack in your lunchbox? Tasty snacks that make your belly go yum, like peanut butter made popular by George Washington Carver, or potato chips, invented by George Crumb. Fast forward, the school day is now over. It's been a long one and you are happy to be home. 
You check the mailbox, invented by P. Downing, then chill in front of the air conditioner, invented by Frederick Jones. Plus, your teacher didn't assign any homework, so you decide to play a few games on the cell phone. Well, if it wasn't for Henry Sampson's gamma electric cell, believe it or not, there would be no cell phone. And these are just a few awesome inventions. There are countless other ones that I didn't even mention, like the doorknob invented by O. Dorsey, or a type of guitar invented by Robert Fleming. Sarah Boone invented the ironing board, and Thomas Stewart invented the mop. Lonnie Johnson invented the super soaker, and W.A. Martin, he improved the lock. So now, here's what I want you to do. I'd like for you to take a moment or two and ponder over how life would be if these inventions weren't created for you. Then, as you lie in your bed this evening and you think about how your day was spent, don't forget to thank an inventor. Then dream about what you'd like to invent. The end. I hope that you enjoyed hearing the story have you thanked an inventor today? The author, Patrice McLaurin, has her own website as well as her own YouTube channel. I'll leave links in the description box below so you can check them out. When I purchased this book, I bought four extra copies because I wanted to do a giveaway. I think this book would be great to have in your personal collection, not only because it's so educational, but because there's extra information in the back, like biographies of all the inventors mentioned in the book as well as a quiz you can take to check and see how much you remember from the story. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is leave me a comment letting me know if you were going to invent something, what would you invent? I'll take the name of every kid who leaves me a comment, put it in a bucket, and draw four names. Those kids will each win a copy of the book, Have You Thanked an Inventor Today? I can get the book to you by dropping it off at your house if you're local or sending it through the mail whatever you and your parents are the most comfortable with. I hope that you are having a great day. I hope you'll enter the giveaway and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.